Peace. Oh, ain't fast. <laughs> Just wanna uh bring up a lot of people be shooting me uh questions and stuff about like you know about how to to fix shock like you know well, I got a problem with this chakra, or this this and that, you know what I'm saying, and how to help with it. So I just want to give like a quick little briefing on, you know, like just quick simple ways to help your chakras, because it don't even have to go deeply into some extensive meditation and all this. It could be uh, simple things. Uh, matter of fact, just to uh, name something quickly, uh, say fences, colors. Everything is a vibration, and colors are a vibration. So say, for instance, if you're having a, a weak heart, uh, your, your heart shock or not, you feel like, you know, it's not spinning full, you know, it's out of whack, you know, just something simple as wearing the color green, you know what I'm saying? So like if any of your chakras, you know, need a little extra energy or whatever, wear, wear the color of that chakra that's, uh, that's lacking. So, you know, like if you need strength in your heart chakra, wear green, if you need strength in your throat chakra, wear blue, you know what I'm saying? And down with the corresponding uh, chakras and colors. Uh, another thing, and, and it's mostly color, actually, what I'm, you know, because like I say, vibration, you know, color is a vibration, you know what I'm saying? That vibration helps with the energy vibration that's going on in your chakras. But uh, also food, you know, which most of the time the food go along with, go, go along with the color of the chakra also, you know, like uh, blueberries and currant, you know, for your for your third eye, you know what I'm saying, crown, you got uh, any type of greens and vegetables, you know, to help the heart chakra, you know, mangoes and, and pineapples and stuff for the solar plexus, you know what I'm saying, uh, anything red, you know, apples, uh, beets, things of this nature help with the root chakra, you know what I'm saying, like, but it's, you know, the colors that correspond with it, you know. And it's not just the color, cause it's not, and there's no coincidences in this universe. But you know, source set it up that way. You know that the colors of these foods, you know, naturally go with the with our chakras, and and are, and are lined up with the with the colors of the chakra. You know what I'm saying? To which it is helping. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the stones too that you find. Cause another thing I was gonna say, you know, you're having trouble trying to align, you know, your chakras, and in most cases too. That's why I tell people you don't even have to have a super extensive uh, mineral knowledge to a certain extent because another thing, color of stones, you know what I'm saying? Get stones that match with the color of your chakras just starting off. If you, matter of fact, because most of this too is attainable on the internet because I know a lot of people come at me, and which, and I'm going to keep it real, I'm, I, like, I, don't, I don't answer uh, questions that you could get off of Wikipedia. Like, like what is a chakra? Like what? <laughs> nah, like I'm not, I'm not that type of teacher. <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying you gotta get that lesson from somebody else. So you know that's that's something simple that we all could attain. My little five year old nephew could go Google what a chakra is, and and honestly, you know what little things. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just talking on a level like you know to help right quick. But like that's the thing too, where it's like oh man, like uh. What is a chakra? You gotta gotta go to the books. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do a little bit of research. I'll go ahead, or at least go look at one of my older videos. Cause it's funny like that. Like what's funny is me doing my YouTube videos and I wanna get off, but I don't like to, you know, repeat, you know what I'm saying? Like I know I done did like three videos on this subject. It's like, do I really need to do a fourth one? You know, cause then it it comes too much of like feeling like I'm just trying to which, I mean, of course, I am marketing myself. You know, I'm doing a YouTube thing, not only sharing, but I'm, you know, bringing in revenue, too. But it's like, ah, I don't want to, you know, I already got the knowledge already out there. Do I really have to, you know, be this YouTuber and make a fourth one because, you know, the people have to. It's like, ah. <laughs> but back to what I was saying. Uh, with certain stones, so just the color of a, of a stone, you know, red stone, so like a red jasper, uh, hematite, you know, naturally red, root chakras, you know, yellow calcite, uh, you know, citrine, stuff like that with the solar plexus, uh, prayer night, uh, what's another green stone? I draw these blanks. Prayer night, green adventure, you know, these stones, you know, heart chakra, then you got, uh, 
stones that have like that teal, like that greenish blue mix, you know, like say for instance, like uh, Amazonite, uh, that was almost like that's that, uh, that higher heart, like in between the throat chakra and the uh, heart chakra. It's almost like a blend of the colors also, you know what I'm saying? But you know, just simply finding things that, that, that color-wise correspond with your chakras, you know what I'm saying, will help, you know, just just do tremendous work just on a simple level, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, for extensive help, then you might have to find, a, you know, some type of meditation, you know what I'm saying, or go find some Reiki work. But I mean, honestly, too, even down to opening your chakras, you know, most meditations is just going to have you, you know, breathe, visualize when you're breathing in that all that energy is going to whatever chakra you're trying to, you know, trying to get aligned. So say, for instance, I'm trying to get my uh, solar play. I need a little confidence, a little self-esteem. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a visualize, you know, a yellow light. That's the thing, because dealing with whatever chakra you want to visualize, you know, the energy, you know, corresponding with that color, you know what I'm saying? So you're visualizing some yellow light, you know engulfing your body whether it's you know coming over your whole body or going straight down to your solar plexus and imagine you know your, your uh your chakra spinning clockwise in the front counterclockwise in the back you know what i'm saying imagine it spinning healthily you know what i'm saying and you know as a matter of fact and simple with breathing and just those type of visualizations right there could also help your chakras you know and, and uh I'm pretty sure you could go look and they got probably, you know, videos with extensive meditation, but that's just, you know, just a simple explanation on how most of them, you know, deal with it, you know, it's just visualizing the energy getting sent to that chakra. As a matter of fact, that's how we heal ourselves in general, you know what I'm saying, is visualizing chi energy moving through the meridians and the nodders of the body, you know, going to the places it needs to go to, you know what I'm saying, kind of like how, uh, like dealing with the palm chakra, how the palm chakra take in things and, you know, spread it throughout the body. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's basically like taking in energy and spreading it through the meridians. But I mean, but uh, say for instance, you taking in the energy with the breath and then you visualizing it going to whichever area it needs to go to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, matter of fact, I don't know how true it is, but uh, I heard something about like what Bruce Lee had. Uh, he had a... Uh, a back injury that he fixed with with the chi energy in meditation he just meditated and visualized the chi energy you know going to that little area in his back and fixing it but you know but dealing with chakras just a simple and quick way to you know help fix them you know would be uh dealing with the corresponding colors whether it's wearing certain clothes eating certain foods or having certain crystals around you know what i'm saying too you know, as a matter of fact, and another one where you could also program a piece of quartz for that. Whether you could program it to, as a matter of fact, kyanite good for that too. You could take a piece of kyanite, give intention kyanite. I want you to align all of my chakras. And just take it and move it down your body. You know what I'm saying? All the way down to the feet, you know what I'm saying? All the way up. You know, sometimes even... And if you're aware of your other chakras, then make sure you're touching your other chakras too. If you're aware of, you know, your soul star, your interstellar chakra, you know what I'm saying, your, your knee chakra, your spleen chakra, all that, you know, then and get that too. But, you know, you could clear them with, uh, with kyanite, blue kyanite, but also I was going to say quartz. Where you could take quartz and get the intention like a quartz. I want you to uh, align my solar plexus chakra. I want you to make sure that my solar plexus chakra is spinning healthily. And then put that piece of quartz right down your solar plexus chakra. And, you know, feel the work. Visualize it working on you. You know what I'm saying? It's about visualizations. Because remember, you know, our thoughts and focus manifest. You know, that person that's sitting on a deadbed could either stay alive or croak by their thoughts. You know, like they could either hold on and be like, oh, wait, I'm waiting to see. My, my youngest son, you know, like my mom waiting to see her youngest son, so she ain't dying yet because she holding on. And then once you see that youngest son, like, all right, click, I could, I could go ahead on. You know, same thing with visualizing with your chakras and throwing energy, not throwing, but, you know, placing energy, energy in the right place within your body. Same thing, we move it with our intentions and our focus and our visualizations, you know what I'm saying? And knowing and believing in it, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what, too, what people 
where sadly so, you know, been tricked out of their powers and may not make it back where, you know, where some people are like, bro, but I can't even visualize. I, don't, I mean, you've been damaged too much by what the, you know, by, the, by the, all the things that, you know, that the government been purposely bashing us with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, lost that, that, that feeling, that connection of the, you know, that connection to your gifts, your spiritual gifts, basically, you know, which hopefully that's not, you know, that's not true. Hopefully most of all of us could, you know, revamp them spiritual gifts, no matter how calcified your pineal gland has become, you probably could shake back. Let's hope so. <laughs> but that's it. Just, you know, just a few little pointers on just simple ways to, you know, get the chakras back in check, you know. Matter of fact, and another one too, which I almost would have passed over because I was just about to end the video. And also binaural beats and isochronic beats. Isochronic beats deal more too with uh, amplifying your uh, extrasensory perception abilities, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but binaural beats in general, matter of fact, and not with this side, I'm going to remember to uh, leave do the little binaural beat video and have it up there so y'all could use it as a reference, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, and because I explained the difference between isochronic and binaural, but, uh, you know, find some binaural beats for that certain chakra, you know what I'm saying? A certain, uh, solfeggio, uh, frequency, you know what I'm saying? That will resonate with what you're trying to amplify, you know what I'm saying? If you're uh, trying to, you know, work up the DNA and, you know, that miracle tone, you know, you want to deal with a thing, uh, it's 528, you know what I'm saying, hurts, you know, Re reconstruct that DNA, you know, or you got a uh, one in the, uh, in the 300s that deal with, uh, you know, resolving fear and negativity, you know what I'm saying, but binaural beats, you know, too, is also a good thing, whatever, find whatever, you know, know whatever chakra you need to deal with, and then find the proper binaural beat to go along with it and put the headphones on and let it work. But that's just a few little simple things, nothing too extensive, you know. But peace. At the now, now is the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now.